Welcome back to another learning series with Mr. Knight. Let's say you're working in an office and you're copying papers. However, you fail to organize the papers and they blew all over the place. Wow, that is devastating and is also frustrating. The same type of system is happening inside of our body where cells are copying chromosomes. However, they copy them in a very organized way. So today we're going to look at the number of chromosomes involved in mitosis. Firstly, let me remind you that a chromatid will be just one part of a chromosome. So this will be a chromatid. The glue that holds chromatids together is known as centromere. When they go together, chromosomes can be presented in either of two ways. On the left, where you have a single chromatid and a single chromosome because of the single centromere. The short arm, P arm, the long arm, Q arm. On this side on the right, you have one chromosome, two chromatids. Now to remember that chromosomes are counted based on the number of centromere. So both left and right, they have one centromere, which means they are one chromosome either way. But the difference is, is the number of chromatids. This on the left, one chromatid. On the right, two chromatids. Let's put this into perspective. Now, what I want you to consider to make this very easy for you is think about a chromatid being a sheet of paper with information. What information does a chromatid contain is simply genetic information so it's the information section of the chromosome and think about a centromere as a binder okay because the glue you're going to bind the chromatids together just like a paper clip will bind paper will bind papers together now let's apply this let's say you started out with one sheet of paper to be copied or you may call it one stock of paper to be copied and you have one binder now for you to copy will you copy the binder absolutely not what you'll copy is the sheet of paper so you put this stock of paper in the photocopying machine or the printer and you may get the, the resulting papers out well you have an option you could put all the papers together and make one stock however you still will have two sheets so there are two sheets however one stock because there's one binder alternatively you can decide so to separate these two sheets of paper but if you separate the sheets of paper you want to keep them organized hence each sheet must contain their own binder so you could move from one stock to with with two sheets separate the sheets and to separate the sheets you must apply two separate binders so here you have two two sheets of paper or two stocks of paper and two binders so the binders identify the number of stock so one binder one stock two sheets two binders two stock two stocks two sheets now let's apply this to chromosomes in chromosomes again the centromere is like the binder will you copy the binder absolutely not so let's say you start with one chromosome because you have one binder as in a stock and you start with one chromatid as in the sheet of paper with the information you're going to copy the information part when it is being copied, you may choose to put them together, which means you have one stock, which is one chromosome, because you have one binder. 
which is a centromere. Or, and in this you have two chromatids, so it's two chromatids in this one stock. So let's look at the alternative met method. Now, the same one chromatid goes in to be copied. You have an option to put them together, which means you have two chromatids, but still one chromosome because there's only one centromere. However, if you separate the chromatids, you have two separate chromatids with their own binders, which makes two chromosomes, two chromatids. Now, since we established this, let's look at some numbers. Now, in human beings, I wanted to make, take a copy of this because it's going to be very important. I'm not, I'm not going to explain it right here. I want to tell you a story first, and then it will make this much easier. So I want you to notice these numbers, and remember, the only thing that is being copied will be the chromatids, not the centromere. So right here you see centromere represents chromosome. So don't get confused with these numbers. This will be made easy. So let's look at a story. We call this story, I Preserve Myself. First, I want you to remember the entire process of mitosis. It I, P, mat, C. The I for the interphase, the P, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase, and C, it is cytokinesis. So this is a story of how I preserve myself. Once upon, a time, once upon a time, there were two sisters, one called chromatid, the other called chromosome. They live lovingly until something interferes. Chromatid grew large in size. In fact, chromatid double in size. However, chromosomes remain cool and maintain that love. They maintain this love until IMP. After a while, chromosomes got an attitude and level up with chromatid. However, Coach stepped in and cut them back to size. Then they live happily ever after. Now let's put this now to numbers. First I want you to note is that after interphase, the only thing that is being copied is the chromatid. So notice the only number that is doubled is the chromatid. So notice this, the original cell, 46 chromosomes, 46 chromatids. So 46 chromosomes, 46 chromatids. Now the chromatids copied and maintain this number right through. Notice that the number does not change. So you do not need to stress yourself about that. Just remember, chromatid number does not change. However, chromatids increase in size. Remember that sister, she increased in size after interference, the eye. They maintain this number and this love until IMP. So after the metaphase, so notice the 46 is the same for the chromosome because chromosome did not copy. However, now at the antisocial part, so chromatid became antisocial and so chromosome decided to level up. Notice the leveling up taking place where 80 for attitude, right? So this is where the attitude start. They level up with each other now. So chrom what is leveling up though is chromosome because remember that chromatid will not change, right? So chromosome now level up with chromatid. And when the coach C for cytokinesis stepped in, he cut them back down to size. So easy way to remember these numbers, all right? So that's the story how I preserve myself. Now let's look at an, look at an example for this. Let's say you have an original cell with two chromatids. Do you remember that? and two chromosomes because there are two centromeres. So we start with two and two. The only thing that is duplicating or replicating is the chromatid, beautiful. So chromatid doubling size, maintain that number right through, even to the telophase, is preserving that number. And so if you notice four chromatid, four chromatid, all these cells up to T, because T, even though they're on opposite side, and even A, they're on, 
they are on opposite side, the number of chromatids will remain the same. Okay? Now, the chromosome number, starting from 2, it maintained at 2, maintained at 2, maintained at 2, only where the attitudes start at, at the anaphase, where they become antisocial, that is the point in time when the chromosome will level up. Let's level up, level up. And when they level up, they are on the same number. So you have four chromatids, four chromosomes. And they continue with that for 80, because 80 is the attitude section, right? When the coach stepped in and cut them back into size, notice what you have here. They became equal again, two chromatids each, two chromosomes. So each cell, two chromatids, two chromosomes, just like the original cell. And that's how we look at the numbers for mitosis. I hope this was very easy and fun for you. So let's level up again and keep on watching by simply subscribing. See you in the next